Five years ago, Ryobi released their first battery-powered riding mower. It featured a lead-acid battery and a 38-inch stamped steel deck. So what's the big news for today? Well, Ryobi has brought three new lithium-ion battery-powered zero-turn lawnmowers powered by a brand new 80-volt lithium-ion suitcase-style battery. Let's start with the models and deck sizes. Ryobi now has 30, 42, and 54-inch decks and features a lot of innovation. Right off the bat, you can't help but notice these mowers don't use either a steering wheel or lap bars. Instead, Ryobi spent over a year developing a single joystick that lets you maneuver the mower quickly and easily. People typically hate change. However, we gave it a try. In fact, we rode this mower for quite a while, and I have to say the joystick works really, really well. If you've ever picked up a game controller, well, you're gonna feel right at home. If you haven't, Ryobi dialed in the sensitivity and controls so that we were able to run through slaloms and execute 360 degree turns in place without much of a learning curve. You pull up on a red knob to activate the blades, just as you would with a gas zero turn. It's also keyed, so not just anyone can jump on and start it up. Deck height is adjustable using a side pull lever from around 1.5 to 4.5 inches. You also get LED headlights that activate with the push of a button underneath the LCD panel. Finally, a USB port lets you recharge your smartphone or other electronics as needed. If you listen closely, you remember we said that this mower operated off an 80 volt battery. Actually, it operates off more than one. Each rectangular 80 volt pack features 100 individual battery cells. A small LCD screen gives you the percentage of charge remaining. The 42 inch and 54 inch models support up to three 80 volt batteries and four 40 volt auxiliary batteries. The 30 inch mower supports two 80 volt batteries and two 40 volt auxiliaries. All of these charge internally using an external fast charger that runs off 120 volts and looks like something you might use to charge an electric car. It plugs into the rear of the mower. So how does Ryobi mix 40 volt and 80 volt batteries together? Well, that's a great question. What they do is prioritize the 80 volt packs for running the mower until those packs are depleted. After that, the mower can switch to its 40 volt packs to draw additional run time if needed, albeit with some reduction in power. Unless you think it needs to operate these 40 volt batteries in pairs, it doesn't. Ryobi uses electronics to step up their 40 volt packs and effectively deliver 80 volts needed. And that means you can operate each of these mowers on just a single 40 volt battery, which we don't really recommend by the way. Now let's talk about charging time. The new 30, 42, and 54 inch zero turns take a lot less time to charge and you can mount that charger on your garage or shed wall. It'll recharge these zero turn batteries in two, three, and four hours respectively. That's super quick. And yes, it charges both the 80 volt batteries and the 40 volt batteries at the same time. Even if you don't plan to use those 40 volt batteries to extend your runtime, it might just make sense to make use of the fast charger on the mower to take care of your other handheld 40 volt power tools. If that weren't enough, Ryobi also updated the control system on these mowers. We mentioned the LCD screen earlier. It lets you independently configure low, medium, and high drive and blade speeds. The screen shows you the remaining runtime and battery life. We rode this mower for quite some time and so did several of our colleagues from the media. The air ride seat suspension on the 42 and 54 inch models makes for a very comfortable ride. A dial on the front lets you adjust for your weight which worked really well since I weighed significantly less than one of the gentlemen using the mower before I did. When we look at all three models, you can see some pretty clear reasons for getting each. For example, the Ryobi Z30 Li 30 inch mower fits through most gates and presents a great solution for delivering a rider that fits where most zero turns can't. Ryobi even designed the bagging system to fit completely within the width of the body so it doesn't expand the footprint. At $4,000, this mower should provide a solid solution for anyone trying to get into a battery powered zero turn mower they can tackle properties up to an acre in size. Stepping up to the 42 inch Ryobi Z42 Li, you get a great mid-tier product with all the same great controls and features of the 54 inch model, but with a stamped steel deck and reduced deck size. The $5,000 retail price gives you double the mowing range, up to two acres. You also get an additional 80 volt battery and two more 40 volt battery ports for extending your runtime. Finally, the $6,000 flagship Z54 Li gives you a 54 inch fabricated deck that combined with the trio of 80 volt batteries nets you up to four acres of grass cutting. We have to admit, we're kind of excited about these mowers, not because we haven't seen anything like this before, but because manufacturers like Ryobi are starting to drive the industry forward in a new direction. A joystick steering wheel, air ride seat suspension, between innovative new features and familiar features we've come to expect from gas products, we look forward to doing even more testing on these mowers when we get them in-house later this year. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, follow the link in the description if you want to hit our website and learn even more. As always, thanks for watching.